information on the 78 small dogs living on layers of their own waste rescued from an El Cajon hoarder. Tonight, we talked to neighbors shocked over the sad discovery. 10 News reporter Emily Fode is live. And Emily, they told you the smell was so bad they couldn't even spend time outside. That's true. In fact, I'm here at the Humane Society, and normally we would be going live in front of the hoarder home, but I got to be honest, we were out there. The smell was so noxious, I couldn't even bear it. The smell was just so powerful that it would make you dry heave. Behind the walls of this now condemned pink house on El Monte and El Cajon, urine and feces cover the floor in some places a foot thick from the 78 dogs who lived inside. I knew that he had a lot of dogs and I knew that the smell was the dogs defecating and urinating inside the house because he never walked the dogs. I spoke with next door neighbor Ramon Ramirez in his driveway. The smell of dog poop so strong your stomach turns. I knew he had a lot of dogs because they would bark. You know, you could hear at least five dogs barking. Several neighbors told me they thought the man had maybe five dogs. And they would bark sporadically throughout the day, but nothing major. Thursday morning, a neighbor called police over the nauseating stench. Rescuers brought the 78 small dogs outside into fresh air, some for the first time. I knew the smell was bad, but I thought he was like picking up after himself and just putting it in, in bags or something. I had no idea that, uh, that uh, there was inches and inches of manure and urine in the house. Hi. I know you're very scared. Humane Society says the dogs have red, itchy skin and respiratory problems. Just the fact that it smells so bad out here, I didn't, I didn't know how he could actually be in a house, live in the residence. Rescuers tell us that um, the man actually signed the dogs over voluntarily, willingly. However, we don't know at this point if he's going to face any criminal charges. I'm live at the Humane Society. Emily Thode, 10 News. Their little faces are heartbreaking. Thank you, Emily.